Greetings hockey fans, welcome to another edition of Kings Insider. I'm your host Kyle Robinson with your TV. And to say that the Pembroke Lumber Kings season to this point has been a roller coaster might be a bit of an understatement. We have some new players up front through trades, we also have a new goaltender, but most importantly we have a new head coach and general manager Pat Malloy, who is now starting his second tenure with the Lumber Kings after head coach and owner Dale McTavish stepped back from behind the bench earlier this month. Today we get our first chat with Pat Malloy in his new position. So Pat, my first question for you, I guess, is now that you're back in Pembroke, uh, you're able to end a extremely long losing streak for this squad uh, with only your couple of games on hand. Uh, where do you see this team going now? Every day is, a, is, a, is a, an opportunity for us to get better. So what I'm in, in the midst of is evaluating where everybody is, where, what people need, where everybody fits. Um, you know, my sole mandate here is to maximize what we have here and, and, and build going forward to, to get the Lumber Kings back on the, the footing that they need to be on within this league and within the country. You know, in credit to the players that are here, a lot of them have indicated uh, that this is where they want to be. They want to be part of the solution. And so, you know, my job is to try to figure out, do the best job for the Lumber Kings going forward. Um, that said, you know, despite a long streak that was here, you know, there's there's still playoffs within sight. So we've got to manage those things, evaluate what's best for the group going forward and best for the organization. Um, but there's there's definitely no quit uh, in in the, my short time here in about a week. So um, I've I've seen a lot of people really reiterate the fact they want to be part of the solution, and and I respect that, and, and that's music to my ears. What are some of your immediate plans with this team? Uh, I guess for the next couple of weeks as we get into the holiday season. We need to see competitiveness every night we need to see that that this is something that they believe within the room that they can start to gain some rubber to the road if you will some traction in the, in, in, in the standings and um, but we're not focused on outcomes we're focused on process of, of just doing things right on a day-to-day -day basis getting back to smaller goals um, and it's funny when you focus on small things the, the big things start to look after themselves well, it's a storied franchise, you know, I'm from Pembroke, um, it's just if, if you're going to coach hockey at the junior A level, this, this would be top, tops in the country in terms of places to want to be. Um, the fans support the, the way the community is behind the team, the history of the team, um, you know, the group of people, the coaches, the staff, the people that are here that really care about it, it, it makes it a, a really comfortable environment to want to be part of. Um, as I said, it's, it's a top-notch place in Canada to, to coach and to play and it's just, you know, not that it's reminding these players, but sometimes new players come in and they, they don't understand the history. Um, this isn't the same as playing in, in some markets. This is, this is different and this is special and, and that's what I want to foster. Now with the Lumber King's 16-game losing streak well in the rearview mirror, Pat Malloy and the squad can now look to the future. Maybe that means some more trades. Maybe that means some new personnel behind the bench. Only time is going to tell. Thanks for joining us on this edition of King's Insider. I'm Kyle Robinson with your TV. We'll catch you next time.